I've always hated the Lakers. I shouldn't say hate, hate's a strong word. Assistant coach Gil Neuendijk pulled back the reins on the H word, but he's just echoing the sentiments of many long-suffering Redmond staff and fans. Peterborough has been to lacrosse as the Patriots have been to football. Winners for a long time running. Just when you think you might have the champs in your sights, they find another level. We were so close last year. Uh, we had Peterborough right where we wanted them. We, we just couldn't finish the deal and unfortunately lost to them. They went on to win the Man Cup. But I think this year with the returning players we got coming back and the experience we've gained from last year's playoff run, I think we're going to have a really, really good chance of repeating, uh, getting back into the Man Cup story again. A wealth of National Lacrosse League stars are expected to trickle into the fold after the championship series wraps up. The likes of Mark Matthews, Shane Jackson, Graham and Matt Hosek, just in him a handful, fuels the fire that this could be the year the Redmen find their way back to the Man Cup. Captain Derek Suddens has seen just about everything in his 17 years with the club and is taking a more level-headed approach in his expectations of the summer of 2018. I think that you, that's usually what happens is you, you don't foresee a team yeah, winning the whole thing, but Peter Rose an example last year. I think there was only five or six members of that club that had actually won a Man Cup prior to that season. Uh, where they just had the right fit, the right chemistry, and the right gel of players that were able to come together at the right time, and uh, and they won the whole thing last year. So you just don't know uh, what team could do it uh, summer to summer. Well, we know who's here right now, and uh, you know, championship, the the world championships are throwing a bit of wrenches into things. But we've got guys that are doing double duty with our with our senior B team. Um, it's for us, you know what I mean. It's a day-by-day -day thing. We know who's here right now, and that's what we're counting on. And uh, We owe it to the players that are here to, to concentrate on that. We know that there's some big names coming back, but the great thing is we might have an all-star roster, but we don't have any all-star egos. Um, this, this team's very ego-free, and that's, that's a great thing to have in a dressing room when you're trying to win a championship.